In an earlier interview, you said, I think, uh -oh. uh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's, it's, it's a nice line, so, and then we can go to this album. About the previous album, you said, the songs on the first album are about trying to get out of the shadow and to find the self-confidence and belief in myself to do it. Yeah. This album. This album is, uh, you know, this album is to, you know, uh, I finally feel strong in, in, or stronger in who I am, and so I think it's actually a better expression of of who I am as an artist. And um, God, that sounds stupid. <laughs> but hopefully, it's actually sort of gotten over my insecurities, and now can just you know have fun with the music and play the songs. And there's a little bit, you know, there's more of an edge and more anger and and a little bit more playfulness. Now we can finally start singing and start playing and. And, and being a musician. And what are your thoughts then on the first album? Do you ever listen to it? Or just play the songs live? I, I hear it sometimes, uh, you know, like uh, rarely in public, but sometimes people have it on their, um, on shuffle, on their iPods or something. I think it sounds really nice. And I think it's, it's very heartwarming. And uh, I, I don't think this record is better or worse. I think it's a it's a evolution, a musical evolution, which I think is a point, you know, and which is what I wanted to do. And, you know, maybe the next record will be, you know, solo um, French songs. I have no idea, but this is more emblematic of of the last couple of years of my life, and which is what I what you know I think a record should be, or at least a record from a singer songwriter type like myself, you know, just uh, and. Expressing a, a moment in time. There's a few. When, 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 when were the songs? I mean, when was the the idea for this album? When, when did well finally come about? Was it? Well, I was more like, recently? I gotta make another album. Oh, that was it. <laughs> and I can't wait. You know, I, like the first record is all, you know always the first record, and it took so long to make the first record, and and we toured it a lot, and um, it was really the beginning of of uh, starting up a. A, a career in music, which you know is something that uh, I want to have for a long time because I have no other skills. I don't know how to type. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything else. But you can dance. I can dance, right? I can dance if I want to. And um, uh, uh, you know, it was it was time to make a second record, which I was very excited to do. And. Um, and um, although it took a, it took a while because you know I was very concerned that the songs uh, be very strong each one because oftentimes with second records it can be very difficult for artists or bands to have all strong songs because they don't have time to write them and um, so you know I wanted to make sure that the songs were there and I even went back into uh, um, some old songs that I had done written about eight years ago. Uh, before the first record, and I felt that they were strong enough, so I put those on there too. And I redid them. I changed the chorus, and you know, changed the feel just to give them some new life. But uh, um, you know, this was me. Uh, this is me in, in a in a in a more confident place, and also uh, uh, the uh, my concept for the record. I, I don't. I don't think the record has you know um, a sound or. A uh, a, a particular theme, as sometimes records do, I think it's very eclectic. Uh, but I think that that's very emblematic of of my taste in music and sort of the way that I am as a person, because I'm quite scattered, or can be quite scattered. And and I I realized um, when I was looking for producers to make this record, because I met a bunch of producers and tried some things, that I'm a complete control freak, but without knowing what I want to do. <laughs> and so I picked three different producers to do different songs, hopefully keeping them all on their toes and also never wanting to give up the power completely to generally a man, generally an older man is generally how it is. And, and, and I... How come? Because it's a man or older man? Or, or just, just because it's the music, it's because it's music, you know music. I mean? It's just your own music and it's... It, it's a, yeah. the music business, yeah, okay. you know, I mean, it's, you know, 90%, like most you know, businesses, it's a, you know, it's a man's world that we live in. I did approach Linda Perry, who does a lot of pop music, but I don't think, you know, she saw the um, pop potential in it. And I didn't want to write songs with somebody. You know, I'm not trying to, I wasn't trying to make a pop record. I didn't want to go to Linda Perry and say, you know, let's do a pink record. You know, that wasn't the idea. The songs were written, they're mine, I wasn't going to change them.
What did she say about the songs then? She said, well, neither... I don't, I didn't speak to her about awesome. it. I just, you know, I think she, she just reneged on the record, which is fine. 